I decided that it's time I caught up with the trend with the virus show club. Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel Casualistic and hi if you're a new subscriber, thank you for joining me. So today, as promised in my last video, I will be sharing um, just a few more hats, it's not loads, don't panic, and a virus shawl. I've decided to join the virus shawl club. So um, that's what I'll be sharing today. I'm sorry that my video, I, I promised I'd put it up Tuesday, Wednesday. Um, I'm now recording this on Friday, so I'm hoping I can get this up Friday night. Um, just with the run up to Christmas and um, being a carer, I, uh, I'm juggling a lot of balls and I'm kind of not winning this week. Uh, so apologies if I sniff a little bit, I think I've got the start of a cold as well on top of everything. So uh, yeah, so my apologies that I'm a couple of days later than I said. Um, I will try and do another upload over the weekend just to make up for it so you've got the two videos for the week. So I'm just going to crack on. Um, the first lot of hats are um, these. all this stuff today I'm showing again is for Woolly Hugs. Not going to go into it all but it's a refugee project so obviously if you want to know more about, about that then I will link a video that tells you more about it up in the corner. Little eye thingy. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, so the first, uh, these, this yarn is all yarn that was sent to me via Woolly Hugs um, that they'd had donated to them. So some of these yarns had labels and some didn't. So um, I'm sorry if that's a little bit frustrating, but if we'll see it, I don't know then I can't obviously tell you. Um, so the first um, yarn, all I know is it came with um, uh, a little tag that said there was 80 grams, it was two balls of 80 grams. Um, and it said acrylic. Um, so this is um, technically a man size, but I have got some friends that um, have that are ladies that have larger heads. So I've kind of done this so that if there's anyone bigger heads, see I have quite a small head, so I tend to be a standard women's size, I guess. So um, I never really think about people that perhaps have a slightly larger heads. So so I've done it. And because it's black and white, I thought, well, it can be unisex that way. So this pattern, again, is using Margaret Olander's pattern that I mentioned in the last hats video. Um, I've done all these hats um, with... Oh, sorry, a little bit uncomfortable there. I've got a bad back. <laughs> um, uh, they're, they're all uh, half double crochets. That's US terminology, which is half treble crochets in the UK terminology um, so that's the yarn um, this yarn was to be quite honest horrible there you go it's just it's just got flecks of white in it it's nothing remarkable um, it's really rough um, made my fingers sore I didn't enjoy working with this at all and I'm glad that it's done <laughs> So um, there's two in the larger size, like I say, all the same pattern, and then one in the um, adult woman's size, so slightly, slightly smaller. So there's the first three. Right, the next three um, are a different pattern. Um, again, I don't know this yarn. It's um, a very soft yarn. Um, it's in a cream. I think it's Aaron. I'm still learning my yarn, so um, it was slightly thicker than... Um, a double knit but it wasn't a chunky so does that make it an Aran? Perhaps one of you can, I'm kind of guessing it's an Aran. Anyway so it was slightly thicker than a double knit for those of you in the UK. I have no idea what that translates to in America. I'm sorry I don't understand your system at all. I'm trying to learn but it's, I've no idea. Um, so the pattern that I've used is called, um, this is a different pattern to the previous hats. Um, so this is Quick Ridges a Beanie. Um, it's by Snappy Tots. Um, I think I got this off Ravelry. Um, there's two styles of hat. Um, that is option A. And that is option B. So the first three hats I'm going to be showing you are option A. And then the last two hats that I will show you will be uh, option B. 
Um, <clears throat> not a bad pattern, um, quite enjoyed doing it, but it only seems to go, um, the largest size seems to be a woman's size rather than a man's size, so I've just gone with it because I didn't want to have to work anything out. Um, but I quite enjoyed, quite enjoyed doing it. Um, again, half double crochets at the top, and this bit here, if it will focus, um, is the cross stitch, uh, which I, there you go, I quite enjoyed doing. I don't know how well that's coming out. I have to say, and none of these things have been blocked yet, just so you know, but I thought that made quite an interesting uh, pattern for um, just a plain yarn. I quite, I quite like that pattern. I do think it looks pretty. Um, so I've got another one exactly the same. So they're both adult woman sizes. And this one is um, classed as a child slash preteen on the pattern. It was quite a simple pattern to do. I did enjoy doing it, and, and the yarn's so soft, and it's just lovely yarn to work with. I wish I knew what it was, but unfortunately, I don't. Um, the last two hats are doing option B. Those were option A. This is option B. Now, the yarn that I was sent for this, um, it was only a 50 gram ball, so I really had to go with child sizes because there wasn't really enough to do an adult hat. Um, this is quite an old yarn. It's Patterns Capstan for Aran Knitting. As you can see, it's quite a, an old label. Um, the shade was shade 50. It was 60% wool, 40% nylon. Uh, made in Great Britain. Woohoo! Um, so, basically what I've done is I've done, I think it was in uh, naught to 3 months. And uh, I think it was six months. Uh, I know that wool blends aren't great for babies. Um, they just didn't know how else I could make something that was going to, you know, with a 50 gram ball, that's not a lot to work with. So this is pattern B. So this just works in um, from sort of here to here, between these two bits here, um, is working in just back loop only, half double crochets. That's the smaller one. And uh, yeah, that's the larger one. Um, all the hats, every single one, no matter what pattern I've used, have been with a da, 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 my trusty purple one, a six millimeter hook. Um, I think that might be a J in US, uh, but I'd, I'm not sure. You'd have to look it up because um, we don't have number sizes over here. So, and the piece de la resistance, the bit I'm really chuffed about. But please bear in mind, this is not blocked. Um, there we go. It's the virus shawl. Um, I really enjoyed doing this. Um, I didn't actually work from a pattern. I used uh, Bella Coco's tutorial um, because she had the tutorial and then there was an extra tutorial if you were still a bit unclear. It took me a little while to took me about six rows in to kind of get the method of the pattern down but once I got the pattern sort of understood it I was able to work it without having to use a pattern or the tutorial so it's fairly straightforward as long as you've got your basic skills in place and um, this yarn was um, very lovely to work with the only thing was was that it um, has I don't know if you can see but there's some little there we go like little metallic blue thread that winds around each piece of yarn and that did make my finger very sore but aside from that I really really love the colours uh, it's right up my street because obviously it's got purples and blues in which are two of my favourite colours um, and I think the copper just sets it up off really lovely um, <clears throat> I did play yarn chicken and I lost but I'm going to leave it how it was um, because um, I wanted to finish it off so on the bottom edge where you finish I've just done a single crochet uh, border just to try and make it look a little bit more finished but I got right the way across and as you can see right there I ran out of yarn so it was just that little bit and I just thought it's not that noticeable so I've decided to leave it. I'll probably there's some of you be going, no! But uh, 
yeah, my time's precious, so I just didn't have time to unpick it all, to be honest, and frog it back. So, um, so I absolutely love this. I wished I'd had another, I had 200 gram, 100 gram balls? Yeah, 200 gram balls. I'll tell you the yarn in a second. And uh, I would have liked to have had a third, just at, right, so I'll fold it in half just to give you an idea of what the size is. So as you can see, it's not massive. Um, it is enough that you can wrap it as a scarf around your neck. Um, and it is just enough to cover over your shoulders. I think it would have been good if there had been another another ball. But obviously this is what's been donated, so it's probably left over from the project. Um, I have to say, I absolutely love this yarn. I would definitely, definitely use it again. I would recommend it despite it making my finger sore. Um, but, you know, a thimble or a plaster or something on your finger would have sorted that issue out anyway. So the yarn was actually a Stylecraft yarn. It's called Cabaret Double Knitting. There we go. And the shade is 3570 and it's called Sunset. Focus. Oh, I give up. <laughs> you have to take my word for it. It's 3570 Sunset. Um, it is 98% um, premium acrylic, 2% polyester, which I guess must be the metallic thread. Um, uh, and I used a 4mm needle. Needle? I'm not knitting. A 4mm hook, even. Um, I don't think it's got yardage on it that I can see. No, no yardage on it, so um, that's it. So I'll just show you one more time. There we go. As far back as I can go without hitting the wall. Absolutely beautiful, beautiful yarn. Highly recommend it. And that's it for today. Um, hope you're all well. Um, nothing much to report here other than a bit of Christmas shopping and a hell of a lot of cleaning. Um, I apologise for the background noise, the washing machine is going. Um, unfortunately being a carer I have to slot everything in around what I'm doing. So um, I will be recording another video straight after this um, so that you've got one over the weekend and uh, then we'll step into next week from there. So I hope you're all well and uh, yeah, getting ready for Christmas. Dun dun dun, nearly five weeks away. <laughs> I oh, know you're going shut up <laughs> anyway um until next time stay well happy crafting and remember to stay true to yourself bye